Hello everyone, this is Kyle with Indiana Kayak Fishing Journal. Um, the other day I had a chance to take Kelly out in the Discovery Canoe to do some pike fishing. Uh, one thing about this time of year is uh, we're using jerk baits and the fish are really aggressive with these jerk baits and they actually they'll usually take the entire thing into their mouth when they grab it. So um, a lot of fish are hooked deeply um, or just hooked in weird spots. So something you definitely need are the right release and unhooking tools to get these fish off and get them back into the water. Um, so I'm going to go through that stuff really quick before I show you the footage that we've got from the other day. Okay, so first up on my list of tools that you're going to want to have for pike and muskie fishing um, is an extra long pair of needle nose pliers. Um, now whenever you're out fishing you definitely want a pair of pliers, uh, but when you're pike and muskie fishing you definitely want a longer pair uh, so you can get pretty much anywhere in a fish's mouth to get some hooks out. Um, so you want an extra long pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, next up is actually a pair of bolt cutters. Um, you'll probably have to use these pretty sparingly, uh, but there's been at least, I'd say, half a dozen times where I've needed these uh, to cut hooks or other pieces of equipment um, just to help on hooking fish. And also if you're planning on releasing fish, um, a lot of times it's easier to cut hooks than it is to try to get them out. And it's actually probably a lot less harmful to fish if you cut them instead of trying to get them out. Um, so like I said, on occasion these can come in useful, so buy a nice pair of these um, and keep them with you at all times. Next up, uh, these are actually spreaders. I'm not a big fan of using spreaders, but sometimes they can come in really handy. Um, I try not to use them on small fish um, because I feel like they really hurt a fish's jaw. So like I said, I try to use these sparingly, but on occasion these can be, these can be useful to help get fish unhooked. All right, last but not least is uh, a good fish handling glove. Um, like I said, these can come in really handy when, especially when you have your hand like in a precarious place, either close to hooks um, or close to a fish's teeth. When when you have to handle them a little bit extra to get the hooks out. Um, so like I said, it's uh, it's a nice to have um, just to keep your hand from getting cut up or, or hooked or anything like that. Okay, so those are the things that I would definitely recommend that you have uh, when you're out pike and muskie fishing. Uh, so without further ado, here's the footage I got from a couple weeks ago.